Hi, I'm just me. And I'm Ral Gash. And I'm a little bit angry. God, I can't even process this. Okay. Nerd Block sent me a promotional email saying they're coming back in 2018. I don't even know where to start with this. How dare you presume that I care that you're coming back in 20 after what you did to me? I'm pointing, I'm saying this to nerd block, not to actual people. I'm just so angry. They took her money and ran. They owe me 18 boxes. 18 boxes. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was I figured they just took my money, I'm never gonna see it again, screw them. And now they're back and they're like, we're not even sorry. She's like, we're coming back. We couldn't sustain what we were doing, and now we're trying again. No explanation of how they're different. They just say that they've learned things, and now they're going to try again. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. No. Not unless they send her her 18 bo missing boxes. And they're not Canadian anymore. The email came from the States. I think they're American now. I think they went totally bankrupt in Canada and just packed up and moved to another country so that they could screw more people. That's what I think happened, but just my opinion. And it pains me to have this opinion. I don't think you understand how much I loved Horror Block. It was like, awesome. But I can't trust them now. I just, I can't. And I can't tell other people to. I just can't. You know what just occurred to me? I don't even know how far we in, how far we are into this video. Some people might might not know about Nerd Block and that whole thing. So I guess we should uh, rewind a bit. Nerd Block was a Canadian company, and they had several different subscription boxes. They had the Nerd Block. They had. Horror Block, which we unboxed. I'll probably link it here. Um, they had something called um, Comic Block, and I forget what else they had. But anyway, we unboxed Horror Block and three Saifan Blocks on this channel. And Horror Block gave us some nice things, like Walking Dead Journal, Horror Block. Orca freaking t-shirt. This is my favorite t-shirt that I've ever owned in my entire world and it came from Horror Block. You have no idea how heartbroken I was when they left. And I just, I can't. So one day, they just kind of, uh, I don't even know how it happened. It was just a total clusterfuck. <clears throat> a couple of orders were late and then they fed us some BS story about suppliers, and then the last email they sent out was, Your June box is on its way. It's coming. We promise. Never came. Not a word. And then the website was down. Their storefronts were down. Like, they, they were gone. They were just gone. I actually went and visited one of their storefronts and looked inside and... There was a notice of eviction. Yeah. So. Laying on the floor. <sighs> yeah. So, that's what happened. They were a wonderful company that I really liked and trusted and relied on for this channel, really. And then they stole my money and ran away. And no real explanation. And, yeah. They still owe me 18 boxes. And unless they're going to give me free, free boxes, I'm just gonna, t I don't even know. I'm so angry, so angry. Do you have any idea how many views we lost? How many subscribers we lost? How many people came here just for the horror block unboxings? No, no you don't. I'm sorry to all the people out there. I'm getting really intense right at the lens. I'm not 
I'm not trying to be intense at you. I'm just really upset about this whole nerd block thing. How dare they? And I swear to you, if they just start like randomly charging me and sending me stuff, I'm gonna freak out. And send me stuff. Please, send me stuff. But if they charge me, I'm gonna have a total freak out. They already charged you for stuff that they didn't send you. Yes. I paid for a year of horror block and a year of sci fan block. And three months later, the whole damn company was gone. So. 18 boxes, please. Whenever you're ready. So obviously we're not going back to it. And I'm never going to tell anyone to go to it. And if your options are a horror-themed nerd block box, or frickin' BAM box, BAM box, dude. Even though... No, no, don't get sucked in by the superior t-shirt quality. God, they had good t-shirts. But I'm not going to get all nostalgic about it. Firm on this. I'm not going back. I wonder what everyone has said about uh, the boxes we should get. Because we're filming this before that video goes up. And, um... Yeah. I, ho I hope your suggestions were helpful. I hope none of them were nerd block. <laughs> that would be hilarious. And not funny. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. Well, I'm just surprised that they had the audacity to email you directly. Well, I mean, it's a promotional email. They sent it out to all the old subscribers. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, all all those people that, that were hurt and ripped off by, by Nerdblock. Yep. Just reminded about it. Yeah. Just reminded them of that hurt. That's not nice. Well, the only thing is, I really can't trust Nerd Block after what they've done. Like, there's, <laughs> there's no way they they should have. When they cut ties with sending things out, they should have refunded the money back to their customers, and they should have paid off the artists and every everybody that. And instead of just running with their money? You missed the point. They didn't have the money to send the boxes or pay the artists. And that's why they ran away. Like sissy bitches. I, I still wouldn't trust them. No. Yeah. Something's too sneaky about what went down. They had to put Enterprises at the end of their name. We're back, now we're called Nerdblock Enterprises. Which is exactly what shady businesses do. Shady. Yeah. You go bankrupt in one country, and then you go somewhere else. And you change your name, change your name, and you do it all over again, and then you move to another country. Change your name, do it again. Next we'll be hearing from them for me from Mexico, and next we'll be hearing from them from, or like, say, Argentina or somewhere. Right. <sighs> or maybe they have learned, and they're going to do really well. And we'll wait and see, and laugh hysterically when they do the exact same thing. t-shirts really were great. Yeah, they were nice. I've still got the very first one. You've got quite a collection of them. I really do. Oh yeah. So I think we've gotten completely off track. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not completely. Like, they do make good t-shirts. Or the Shirt Punch made the really good t-shirts. Yeah. 
but I don't think they're associated with Shirt Punch anymore. I don't exactly know how all that happened. But I'm pretty sure if they're American now, the t-shirt quality is going to suck. Not because they're American, it's just a lot of American manufacturers are like in warm states where you don't need the super thick t-shirts that I love. <sighs> Gotta wear like three t-shirts on a cold day. Well, at least we know Shirt Punch still might still be out there. I don't know which part of the company went bankrupt. It was all associated. Oh. That's why you were guaranteed a t-shirt in every box. Okay. There aren't any boxes that do that now. No guarantee. But the t-shirts are cool. I don't know. We'll see what happens in future boxes that we get. We're not going to get in our block boxes, but... I uh, ordered, whatchamacallit, Creeper Crate. It's on its way. Ooh, that should be interesting. Hopefully. And then, well... Is Creeper Crate the one that's uh, for ladies? Yes. Oh yeah. This should be interesting. You can pre-order these ones like a couple of months in advance and I'm trying really hard not to go on there and pre-order they have a ghost faced one Ooh. I love ghost face Scream is one of my favorite movies it is my favorite scary movie <laughs> so I'm kind, of, I'm kind of interested in that even if y'all people didn't like it <laughs> I think I might still get that But anyway. I can't really think of anything else to say other than they've got a lot of nerve and... This is like, seriously, like, come on. You you want her trust back? Send her, her her 18 boxes. Seriously, send them. See, now I don't know if I should make a big deal about it now. Now that I know that they're back in their company and they can give me my 18 FM boxes, Oh, I still don't want to make a thing out of it. I don't know. So I guess this drama happened. Like this if you like this. Comment. Subscribe for new videos Mondays and Fridays. And share. Tune in next time when we're complaining about something else or maybe eating something and then complaining about it. You never know what we're doing. Bye. Bye. Bastards. I jokingly said I was going to do a tea vlog to talk about all my t-shirts. Oh, you should. Comment below if you give a damn about my t-shirts. I think you should do a vlog showing all your t-shirts. Would we count t-shirts like sleep shirts, or just the daywear ones? Are we talking short sleeve t-shirt or long sleeve t-shirt? Short sleeve. Okay. That narrows it down. Slightly. Okay.